Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Zone of the Enders. Um, last time we started up the game, we watched a lot of cutscenes. This time we're going to go grab an item and imaginably watch a lot of cutscenes. We have obtained the program. <coughs> we have obtained the scouting mode module. It enables us to fight against more than one enemy at a time. A lock-on related operation has been newly added. Let me bring up a window to explain its operation. Oh boy. Yeah, so, um, they just added on these three. Or, no, maybe just these two. Well, camera operation is pretty obvious, but anyways. They have lock-on now, so we can lock on the particular enemies and just fight them one-on-one. -on -one when we have groups of enemies coming at us at once. And then we have escape, which is basically you just run away... You get a certain distance away for a certain period of time, like a few seconds, and then you end the battle and... You, uh, you disengage, you, you get rid of your lock-on. So, um, end of the training session. nothing to worry about there. The module we have obtained allows us to select the command menu by pressing the start button. You can save the current status by choosing save from the command menu. New one! Let us avoid unnecessary battles. There is another local server in this area. Obtain the flying mode module from it. Press the start button to view its location on the wide range radar map. The green light points to the local server. So yeah, getting into battles generally does cause um, areas that you're in to get destroyed. But it's also necessary because, uh, see right there, they have the mark, they have passcode marked on it. Uh, that means that by destroying them, we'll get a passcode to open up something in particular. And also, they do shoot at random areas. They will end up uh, destroying certain parts of each area as you continue on in the game. So it is somewhat necessary to uh, fight enemies. Uh, in general, it's not a good idea to fight every single one. Because you will end up destroying the city at some point, either by them shooting at buildings or by you missing and hitting buildings, but, um, yeah. Also, each enemy does have a name. Uh, these, these small guys are called, uh, raptors, I believe. And then the big chunky ones that shoot lasers or little spread shots, those guys are called mummy heads. They have some pretty funny names. Yeah, right there. As you fight enemies, generally, uh, colony damage increases, so you don't want to fight way too much. <coughs> and again, that's just to, uh, raise your health. Can we use this? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. And then there's one other type of enemy I don't think we'll see in this area. They're called, uh, Cyclops. And they're kind of like the boxers. Um... The raptors are more or less just the small wimpy guys, they're like the cannon fodder. Uh, mummy heads are kind of the big chunky slow powerful guys. And uh, cyclops, the cyclops enemies are probably the most powerful of all of them. So we want to watch out for those when we see them. Although my most annoying moments have been with mummy heads because at later levels they actually have this giant laser shot. And that gets to be a huge pain in the butt. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron ore. But yeah, generally combat is pretty simple. Alright, what do we get here? We have obtained the program. All right. We have obtained the flying <clears throat> mode module. Yeah. It allows us to move to other areas by choosing area change from the command menu. So yeah, basically we needed that to uh, leave this area. So, um... Now that we took care of that, we press the start button. Uh, weapons we'll be getting later on, but we need to download programs to get them. Uh, we got these two in this area. And then we can use area change. They show us our mission right here. Um, and, yeah. Let's blow this, this, this place, this factory factory of places. I'm sorry if this isn't very exciting. Combination of me being sick no, 
That's and this game being filled with cutscenes. I assume it is being attacked by orbital frames. It is in the most Resident exciting Zero combination. That's where I live. Woo! <coughs> We are entering residential block. <coughs> Excuse me. Father, you are alive, aren't you? So there was a sequel to this game, uh, Zone of the Enders, the second runner, and I heard it was a lot better. Oh, first boss already. This is actually a very short game, it shouldn't last too long. Father, I detect no human activity. You mean everyone is dead? That is a possibility, but it is more natural to assume the residents were previously evacuated. Damn it. I detect vital activity. I will zoom up on subject. So these! Do you know this person? Yes. I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. Yeah, I swear, the dialogue in this game, I can't tell if it's more laughable than it is painful. It's just silly. So for the first part of this battle, we just want to stay, we want to keep our distance at while uh, using this rocket attack. This is probably one of the more convenient ways to fight this guy. I actually do remember this guy kicking my butt, but I think if you know how to fight each boss, they're pretty simple. But yeah, in general, you just have to be fast enough to dodge his attacks and then counter. Ow. Alright. I remember this. Kind of. Not enough. I don't remember this enough. This isn't cool. Alright, I guess we just keep shooting him in the face. Hopefully not run out of health before he dies. But yeah, he jumps up in the air, shoots a bunch of missiles, and then he shoots fireballs. He's a pretty simple first boss. There are actually not that many bosses in this game. But the ones that there are generally tend to be a pain in the butt, especially the second one, uh, for reasons I'll get get into later on. Um, but yeah, something to notice about the orbital frames is that the cockpit is uh, it's placed in a certain area, and I think uh, I don't know what to think about that. I think it was intentional, <laughs> but I mean. As to why, I, I just no idea. 
Hideo Kojima is a weird guy. Makes awesome games, but he is kind of insane. Also, that's our burst attack. I haven't shown it off before. Ow. Generally not a good idea to use when they're shooting stuff like that at you, but, um, yeah. Something to take note of. Also, I'm at half health, so I'm gonna want to be a little bit more careful, or at least kick this guy's butt very quickly. There we go. There we go. And down goes the first boss. Confirmed ETR reaction from the target. Its main generator has ceased to function. We did it! I detect vital activity within the target. It appears that occupants are still alive. I am releasing the lock-on cursor. Target will be destroyed. Destroy it? Why? They can't fight anymore. Your question does not compute. Why not destroy it? Why should I kill when there's no reason to? I compute 17 clear reasons for such action. Most That's a pretty exact possibility number. Of the target gaining access to another orbital frame and returning to battle at another time and place. Shut up! I refuse to destroy. <laughs> What's the point of attacking those who have no intention of attacking us? Do you wish me to state the reason? Don't bother. I have to conclude that your reaction is extremely illogical. Illogical actions by persons without sufficient capabilities make it very difficult to fulfill the mission. You mean I'm not good enough to do this so I should just shut up and obey orders? That is the most sensible course. So you say... Target approaching limit of our range. Two seconds remaining. You may speak like a human, but you're still a heartless computer, aren't you? That is correct. What is the problem? <laughs> Nothing. Forget it. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> nothing. Just. I detect several I can't say anything. frames behind us. They are in the vicinity of the church. What? Zombies? Enemy with a reinforced program. Be careful. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this game, this game tends to just throw things at you, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of ridiculous, I mean, ooh, unknown, I probably want that unknown, I'll fight this guy first for the hell of it, but yeah, I mean, apparently our, our father either died or, uh, or escaped. He's never mentioned again. Um, I guess that Solvis never found any children in the church. Nothing about that. Like, so many things come into the plot, and then they exit just as quickly as they came. Like, there's no real time for development. Like, any real development of anything. So, uh, I mean, what can you say? It's a fun game, but it's severely flawed so um that's that's all i know um all right we got to change area <coughs> excuse me ah so i don't know who Sylvice is exactly no i don't know her l relation so to leo you didn't find anybody out there. she may be a sister yeah. girlfriend regular friend so I shouldn't have yelled at you. No idea. They never explained Don't it. Don't worry. I yelled at you too. 
but one thing that I want you to remember. You have to take care of your own life, too. I understand. You did manage to escape, didn't you, Father? Well, you're not gonna find out, that's for sure. <clears throat> What is it? At present, I have no idea. Look, they're serious about destroying the colony. Allow me to interrupt. I have to show you our mission orders. The aim of our current mission is to transfer this orbital frame to Mars so it can operate there. To accomplish that mission, our prime tasks are first to rendezvous with the civilian cargo ship the Atlantis, and then to escape from Antilia in convoy. We're in a state of battle alert, but with your lack of experience, I recommend we avoid battle as much as possible. I have visual confirmation that the colony has lost command of the air. Unfortunately, we need more detailed information about the colony. That will require returning to the area where the factory was. Once we are there, I can transplant the necessary information from the local server. After that, we will break through the enemy's control of the airspace, avoiding battle as much as possible. We are then to head to the other side of the colony, and gain access to the spaceport by the transportation elevator. Do you have any questions? I see something shining in the sky. It appears to be some kind of energy field, but I cannot define it. That is a summary of our mission so far. Please proceed directly to the factory. I'll do as you say. Here are the latest headlines. Baram forces are still attacking Antilia as part of their invasion. Rescue workers have begun attempts to save patients in the destroyed hospital, but a fierce fire is still raging and workers are having difficulty gaining access. All those poor people can do is wait for the release of death. That's all for now. That was more How awful. Damn it! <coughs> Damn it. Can't you help those people? How? Just like you helped me. Can't you do that for them too? Allow me to interrupt. As I stated earlier, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on our mission. But, just for a little while. This orbital frame and all aboard have been ordered to participate in operations on Mars. In order to complete our mission, we should not engage in any other activities. Oh, I see. Also, judging from the capabilities of the frame runner, the risk rate for such an illogical action is very high. Ada, where is that hospital? Leo. I will pinpoint its location with a marker, but I must repeat, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on your mission. No, oh, its name yes, is Ada. I know all Did that. Did I say it was Ada asked. before? I don't know. I'm scared too. I may have, I may have mentioned the name, the wrong name, but um, all right. So pretty much a plot overview so far, aside from the stuff that they bring up and then drop immediately. We are piloting Jehuti, the giant robot thing right here. Um, what we want to do is take it to the starship Antilia so it can go to Mars and fulfill a mission that we don't know about. But uh, in order to do that, we have to do some messing around here on this colony above Jupiter because... Um, da -da -da. Because I think that there's some kind of force field up so that we can't leave this area. We're under attack, like... This this area is under attack, so I don't know. <clears throat> it, it's it's it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. Anyways, uh, we gotta stop recording for now, so I'm just gonna save the game, and next time we will do the SOS mission, <clears throat> which I will probably fail at. But uh, I'm going to try to do as well as I can. That's my other save file, and um. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Um, hope you're enjoying this so far, or at least taking interest in the game. It is a fun game, it just has some problems. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.